I don't know about you, but I have absolutely been loving this warmer weather that we've been having. I just wanted to stick around. But luckily, we are getting close to spring, which starts on March 20th, if you wanted to know. So we are getting close. And can you believe it? It's already time for another monthly update. So today, I'm gonna to give you the overview of the Myrtle Beach real estate market statistics for February of 2022. First, I'll go over the Grand Strand area as a whole, and then we'll get specific to the oceanfront condos and Carolina forest area numbers. And then we'll wrap up with a look at new construction. For the month of February in the Grand Strand, the average sales price for single family resale homes was about 412,000, which is up from last month. And homes closed at an average of 98% of the list price. In inventory now is at 2.93 months for resales, which is more than last month, but it's still a seller's market. There are only 445 resale listings on the market that are not under contract in our entire MLS. Now, let's look at the resale condos and townhomes in the Grand Strand, which closed at just under 236,000, which was up from January, and these closings were 99% of the list price on average. There's now a 2.78 month supply, which is again more than last month, but still a seller's market. And there's only 298 condos and townhomes available in our entire MLS that are not under contract at the moment. Now let's move over to the oceanfront and let's take a look at the numbers in the oceanfront condo buildings. So in February, condos in oceanfront buildings closed at an average sold price of almost 270,000, which was again higher than January, and they closed at 99% of the list price on average. Inventory is at 2.55 months, which is less than January actually, and still a seller's market. And there's only 117 listings on the ocean for buildings that are not under contract at the moment. All right, let's move inland and look at the Carolina forest area numbers. The average sales price for single family resale homes in February for Carolina Forest was about 402,000, which was higher than what we saw in January, and homes closed at about 99% of the list price on average. There is a 3.53 month supply, which is way up and it's the most we've seen in a long time. However, it is still a seller's market. And there's only 43 resale homes on the market in the Carolina Fortis area that are not under contract at the moment. All right, let's look at the resale condos and townhomes in the Carolina Forest area. So in February, they closed at an average sales price of almost 190,000, which was about 100% of the list price on average. And now there is a 2.25 month supply, more than last month, but still a seller's market. Similar to last month as well, there are only 12 on the market in the Carolina Forest area that are not under contract right now. Let's look at new construction quickly before we go. In our area, in our entire MLS, there's 2,244 active new construction listings, slightly less than last month, but only 394 of these are not under contract and out of those, only 253 are actually under construction. The others are just suggested plans to build on a lot or planned homes, we call them to be built. The average sold price for new construction in February was 374,000, which was higher than January on average. And for the time frame to build, we are still seeing major delays the permitting is taking about eight weeks to happen. There's still delays coming in for materials. Uh, so you're looking at about six to nine months time frame if you're doing production style homes. And if you want to buy a lot and do a custom build from scratch, you're looking at 12 to 18 months and even possibly longer than that. 
So let's summarize. For the month of February, the average sold prices across the board were higher than January, and the average list to sales price ratios were also the same or higher than January. However, the good news is that the inventory levels are creeping up slightly. So maybe that is a good thing for buyers entering into the month of March. Wondering if it's a good time for you to buy or sell? Give me a call. I'd love to chat with you and figure out what's going to be the best for you and your family. And also, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel as we release new videos every week that you're not going to want to miss. Have a lovely March and happy St. Patrick's Day.